Hey, good morning. I, you're gonna have to look at the phone because I wanted to show you the chemise. So last night when I did the video on the other channel, I was wearing my chemise and socks, but I've put my chemise on again because I wanted to show you my latest unfinished project that will remain unfinished because I made a mistake or I gained weight and I can't remember which. So let's dig into that. Yesterday at the Edwardian, the Edwardian party, um, this beige skirt, and I'm gonna put a picture up right beside this, but it will have my overskirt on it because I made a black spiderweb fabric tulle overskirt to go over this. But I needed this underneath so that you could see the webs. This um, khaki skirt I made for our safari uh, party that we have, the Edwardian Society has every summer at the zoo. We go on safari, air quotes, and we walk around the zoo and look at the animals and then we have a picnic afterwards. I made this skirt. And um, I'll put links to the pattern below, and I may even be able to put a picture in here to show you what it is. It is a walking skirt. It has two patch pockets, which you can see I unstitched, I picked off here, and a belt. Well, I made the thing in a hurry, as I do with all of my Edwardian costumes, and it turns out that I made it, oh, a good two inches too big. Well, actually, it was four or five inches too big when I put my corset on. And, you know, did I measure with corset on? No, I didn't, and I should have. Now, to be fair, my corset does not cinch me down four or five inches. So it, um, it had to have been either pattern ease or my error and the fact that my corset cinches me down like maybe an inch or two. Um, since then, I've gained weight. Now, my corset cinched me down, so I don't know. I, I didn't take measurements, so I don't know where I'm at right now. But... A few weeks ago, I went to a sewing um, get your stuff done unfinished object get together at the fabric store with the Edwardian ladies. And I took this and I unpicked the belt, I unpicked the pockets and I took the waistband out. I'll talk about that problem too. I took the waistband out in order to re-sew it so that it would fit me. I also decided instead of gathers that I wanted pleats. And you can see I did a great job on my pleats actually. I was quite pleased with those. I also added in um, a waistband facing. I have I usually use muslin, but it's just not enough for a skirt. You need something stiffer. And I can say, even though this still doesn't fit me, that that was amazing. Thank you, Lisa Sample, because she's the one that told me about it. And I'm like, oh yeah. It's the th I've never been, you got me with my wet hair. I've never been, because it's morning coffee. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Um, I've never been a seamstress for clothing. I sewed my kids' clothes, and I did a little bit for myself when I, when I learned to sew as a, in 4-H. I made shorts and things like that. But I just followed the instructions and used the interfacing they said. I didn't ever sort of design my own clothing and understand fit and understand what I could get for fit and understand um, real interfacing. So the waistband thing was amazing, super amazing. The other thing next was these pleats. These darts were in place and I knew I wanted them in the front. The back pleats, I did not do. Here, let me flip this around so you can see it. Excuse my tablecloth that's left on the table from yesterday. The back pleats, I did um, an inverted pleat here for the back and then I did just two fold-ins. Now, I'm pretty sure that I took too much on this, maybe even this, but I definitely took too much in the back. I'm wondering to fix my problem. If I just took these two pleats out, I probably could solve it. So that is what I'm gonna attempt. And this is now not only an unfinished project that I finished, it's a new unfinished project now because I'm leaving for three weeks and I don't think I can take this with me. So this one's gonna go back in the hold pile and I'm gonna to have to pick out a couple of projects to take with me. We're going for a week to Hawaii because it was all booked ages ago. And then we come home overnight for one night and we're off for two weeks to the UK to take care of David's mother who has had surgery and is gonna be coming home. So to help, we need to help. But um, I'm gonna figure out what unfinished projects to take with me, plus new, cause you know, new? Isn't a trip a good reason to bring a new project? So I'll take one new project and one unfinished project for each of those trips. And then this guy's gonna go on hold for a while while I 
figure out what I'm going to do with it. I did wear it to the party yesterday with copious safety pins. The gap was like that big. I had to safety pin one side to my chemise and safety pin another side to my chemise. Hence, chemise power man. I was super happy that this was on because I could wear it. So, um, uh, let's talk about other unfinished things that people have finished. Um, what do I have? I've showed you the bunny. I think we're all caught up. Nobody sent me anything new for the unfinished project, but everybody says stuff is in the works. So I guess this is a in the works week. Don't know what Wednesday will bring. Keep emailing the projects, people. And you can, don't feel shy about sending things that are unfinished that you're running across. I can put those photos up and we can talk about your unfinished projects as well. You're seeing mine. Tony sent me her wrist warmers from the cruise, the same cruise that I'm working on on the mittens. So she's, she's going to start digging into that one next. Um, I am going to sh hold that one. I'll hold that picture for when mine are done so that we can both put up our cruise photos together. And um, yeah, I think that's it. If I miss something, I'll definitely put it up on Wednesday or Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. I'll definitely put it up on Thursday. Anyway, that's it for me today. A little short one, but you know, short's good sometimes too. Um, I think I have water in my glasses. Sorry, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you want to see more of our unfinished shenanigans and what happens next week or well, Thursday and Thursday and Monday, you will get video from Hawaii. I'll definitely give you some scenery as well, just to keep you going. The other channel too will have scenery and maybe we can go find a museum to go to, or I don't know, fabric. Don't know. I'm definitely not going yarn shopping. I can tell you that. Ring the bell. If you want to be notified when the next video goes up and leave a comment, if you've got any unfinished projects you found or you finished or you're working on, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.